Cancer, welcome to your reading and happy 2024. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get right into it. We're going to do a past, present, future with clarifiers and an oracle card at the end. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Cancer's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. Thank you. All right. There it is. You're starting out with the Knight of Cups. Followed by the Queen of Coins. And the King of Wands. In the current energies, the Four of Cups. The Three of Swords at the heart of your reading. And the Lovers. In the immediate future, we have the Three of Wands, Judgment, and the Queen of Cups. The overall energy of your reading, Cancer, the Knight of Swords. And the reason we're here today, the Knight of Coins. Okay, interesting. This says that things are moving slow. They almost feel like they've come to a halt. And so you're here to consult the cards and what spirit has to say to get help with this situation we have the knight of swords in the overall expresses that you want to take action uh, based on information you're ready to go uh, in the recent past it looks like expressing your emotions here um, queen of coins King of Wands. Hmm. It could have to do with people that are represented by those energies. Uh, we'll see more when the clarifiers arrive, but it's good energy. It looks like a, a great um, combination there of energies and expressing yourself about them. Very balanced energies, very passionate, uh, grounded and um, stable yeah mature experienced in the current energies though it looks like there's an awful lot of heartbreak and sadness and emotional pain things uh, aren't working out the way that you want at all and you're just really disappointed and, and quite upset about this connection on your heart um, it, that's so important to you and uh, it's the kind of connection that's always going to be on your heart no matter what whether you're together or apart it sticks with you in the immediate future it looks like you're waiting to make a decision uh, about this this love situation your heart is uh, wide open here okay let's go ahead and clarify starting with the knight of swords Spirit, what does Cancer need to know about this card of taking action? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do something. Uh, ready to rush right in. Knight of Swords. What does Cancer need to know? There we go. Four of Swords. Taking a time out first to get some clarity. Page of Wands, this is what you're focused on. Trying to get your thoughts clear so you can hurry up and take that action you want to take. You're learning and you're not letting go of this. You are holding on tight to this situation. You are determined that you are going to take action. Yeah, you're just trying to get some more clarity first. And things are moving a little slower than you'd like. Uh... <laughs> Look at that. The reason we're here. Knight of Swords. Spirit just said that's correct. I want to go. I'm ready to move now. Okay. All right. Let's look at the uh, Knight of Cups in the recent past, please. Expressing your love. Expressing yourself. Someone expressing themselves. Let's find out. Queen of Pentacles. Right there. Queen of Coins. Queen of Pentacles. Same person four of cups 
Wow, your first two cards out are the exact cards that are connected to this card. How cool is that? Good job, Spirit. Uh, feeling very disappointed here. And the devil. There's some unhealthy behavior patterns that are showing up. Wow. All right. Disappointed in what was expressed? Or are you just expressing that, that, they, that you're very upset uh, with this energy that's supposed to be nurturing, supposed to be balanced? But it looks quite unhealthy here. Let's see. The reason we're here for that lineup. Ooh, the fool. A brand new start. Just throwing caution to the wind. Yep. Okay. Is that what was expressed? Or is it the disappoint? I'm disappointed in you kind of thing. I'm disappointed in this unhealthy energy that's showing up. Is that you expressing that? We'll find out more. As, uh, as the reading continues. Let's look at that Queen of Coins. What's going on, Spirit? Show us the Queen of Coins in the recent past. There it is. Three of Cups. King of Pentacles. And the Hermit. So the King of Pentacles is the perfect match to the Queen. And it looks like communing, getting together, having good times with your perfect match. But it needs healing. Communing with your person needs healing. It needs some light shining in the dark to see what's in our way. And you know what's in our way? the devil that unhealthy behavior I have a feeling and the reason we're here the moon things yet to be revealed so we're not supposed to know at this point in time but it could represent secrets um, let's see what's going on let's look at this king of wands the king of passion it could be the same person as the king of pentacles this could be your person or vice versa like I said, roles can be reversed. Energies are fluid. So take it as it fits. But these are the energies that are here. King of Wands, please. King of Wands. The Empress. The Knight of Cups. And the Six of Wands. The reason we're here, the Seven of Wands, rejection, guarding against unwanted energy. Um, you know, this Three of Cups could be a third-party situation. The moon was under there, which happens to be your major arcana card, Cancer. But representing secrets and things yet to be revealed, things yet to come to light. We have the Hermit here shining the light. And when we shine the light, we see the King of Pentacles communing with someone. When we move over here... This Knight of Cups refers me to all the energy that came out on the Knight of Cups over here. So it's almost like getting five cards instead of just the three. We get to look at the three over here plus, I should say three over here, but the other two, the Six of Wands, the Empress. The Empress expressing emotions, which could be, which could be your energy perhaps, or a third party, but... It looks like um, when we express ourselves successfully to this 
king of passion over here some energy is rejected and I don't know who's doing the expression is it you is it somebody else but this is this feels like somebody might have had an affair somebody might have stepped out and I think it's the king Either that or it's at least suspected. It's just showing me that I think this is you. I think you're wanting to shine the light in, on it. Um, let's look at the Four of Cups, the disappointment, the upsetness of things just not going how you wanted. Show us the disappointment, please. What's going on with this Four of Cups? Four of Cups... There might be some betrayal going on here with the Three of Swords right at the heart of the reading and all that emotional pain showing up. Four of Cups, please. There we go. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This all speaks to stability, getting together with others to make plans, to build something. There it is. Look at that. The Three of Swords coming up next. This is the heartbreak. You're disappointed in how that went. For sure. Somebody got together. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Who? Your king. It looks like they had an opportunity to build stability from the ground up. Like it was a new relationship or something. Or maybe they were on a work project having to do with stability they were looking to build things they were making plans somebody was making plans to build some kind of stability to to it, it's like the beginning of something because it's an ace it's just the very beginning but bam it it stabs you in the heart and it's no wonder you're so upset look i mean this this card of being upset is sandwiched right in between three of swords three of swords because people got together and made plans for this hmm the reason we're here look at that yeah the king the king did this the person that you love did this so, male or female in the card, doesn't matter, it's the energy you're showing me the person that you love that was your significant other here. That's, that's what this represents. You are the queen here on the table, the one who's shining the light, who is re needing to reveal the secrets. This might be you confronting them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but either somebody somebody came in and expressed something from a very balanced state and, and position. The Empress is beautiful, desirous, creative, grounded, uh, but so are you as the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Cups. I think you're the Queens in this particular reading, and your person is showing up as the Kings. Um... Because we've, yeah. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles disappointed in the unhealthy behavior. That's what they're doing. They're stepping out. It looks like you can... I, this might be you confronting them. Not exactly sure back there, but either way, uh, let's look at this. Um, it's definitely them that's breaking your heart here. Um, let's look at the Three of Swords, please. Right in the heart of your reading... Whew. What's going on with this Three of Swords? What does Cancer need to know about this heartbreak, betrayal, and emotional pain? Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. And 
and the reason we're here, temperance. Temperance is about balance and healing and patience. This is showing me that from this heartbroken state, um, you would like to take action based on what you're passionate about to gain balance. Gain balance, gain balance, six of pentacles. Get everybody on the same page and leave an old way of thinking and being in the past. And it's as if you're showing me your desire to move on to a brighter future, but with balance and healing. You would like to heal this, but you're in this really heartbroken state over here. It's completely understandable. You want to move on. You want to move on. You want to gain balance. You want to get to a better place, a healed place here. Figure out what the heck is going on. Let's look at the lover's card. Let's look at the lover's, please. You're still holding on to this, energetically at least. You're not letting go. Look at that. <laughs> as I said the words I just said, I was looking over here as I was doing the shuffling. Um, I was looking over here, and the reason I said you're still holding on tight, you're not letting go of this. It's the overall energy of the reading right here. You're focused on it. You're trying to get your thoughts clear as you take this time out. Uh, or as the relationships on some sort of timeout. Either way, you just you're trying to take a break, heal yourself from the immediate pain, and get your thoughts like clear to cal like calm down about this upset situation. Holding on tight. That's why I said it. And the card that came up, Knight of Swords. So Spirit just said that's correct. Knight of Swords. You want to take action on this. You're holding on. You're focused on it. And um, there's a feeling of abandonment surrounding this. And the Five of Cups. A lot of grief and sadness. I'm so sorry, Cancer. This is very hurtful what you're going through. The reason we're here, the sun, because this is all you want. You want to get back to the happiness. That's why you're holding on tight. That's why. That's why this connection is on your heart, because this is how you feel about them. At one point in time, you felt this ultimate bliss and joy just beaming in your life. And it's been the spotlight, the highlight, and the focus and now all of a sudden this person has stepped out they have definitely stepped out in some way and caused all this pain and betrayal and upsetness disappointment and feelings of abandonment and quite honestly depression all right let's um, take a look in the immediate future at the three of wands here it shows you're waiting on something. Why is the Three of Wands here, Spirit? Really? Alright. There are no mistakes. Sometimes Spirit wants us to have a little bit more of a story. And that's what you get with one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. There's an opportunity that you're being given to take some bold action. You're guarded, you're feeling wounded, but uh, you're determined to persevere through this. Trust has been lost for sure. Ten of Wands, it's, this is hard as hell right here. Um, you're carrying all the weight, uh, all the burden, waiting. The chariot, the vehicle to victory to move quickly willpower and determination king of cups that's who we're waiting on that person that caused all this issue in the first place 
I believe he came out underlined for that part of the spread. And the Eight of Wands, communication and energy exchange. But on this particular Eight of Wands, these, these energies are moving in opposite directions. You're showing me you're waiting on some communication. You're waiting on some sort of energy exchange between you. But you have an opportunity to take some sort of action here. It's being given to you. Um, Ace of Wands on the Three of Wands. Probably to stop waiting, I'm going to guess. But um, some kind of bold action, some kind of decision, some kind of opportunity that you don't have to take, but you're being given this opportunity with the Ace of Wands um, to drop your burdens. But you're waiting on that too. You're waiting on taking the action on all of it because you want this energy exchange with this King of Cups. You want communication and you would like to make things right again and, and uh, get to a good place again. The reason we're here for that little lineup, Five of Swords, mm. you have this attitude of, I, I'm willing to do this, whatever it takes. Um, but if you do, this card always represents sacrifices, major sacrifices that get made. You don't want to sacrifice yourself and your own integrity for something that is um, not healthy for you. But you're showing me this is how you're feeling and this is why you're waiting. Okay. Let's look at the judgment card, this major decision. You're being called to make a decision from your highest self your soul level self. You are being called to rise above your normal behaviors, your normal response, and being called to make it from, again, your most connected and highest self. And I think that's what this Ace of Wands opportunity might be about. Judgment. Let's see. Four of Wands. That speaks to a commitment, a relationship, and the stability of it. Ten of Swords, painful ending. This means ending. I mean, it's over. Look at all the swords stabbing the bed. There's no room for a relationship in that bed. And the Seven of Cups, choices. You ha This is free will. Aces are always free will. Like I said, you're given this opportunity, supported by the Divine, but you don't have to take it. Um... And this just confirms it's free will here. We're giving you all these choices. Uh, in each cup, on the Seven of Cups, there's a different offering. Some of the cups are filled with some pretty yucky stuff or some unknown outcomes, and some of them look pretty nice. Spirit is saying, this is up to you, but we are calling you. We're calling you on the phone. Ring, ring cancer when it comes to this commitment and speaking to the stability of it ten of swords that's the recommendation uh, choice but it's up to you you do not have to answer this call you do not have to accept this ace of wands free will but the suggestion is very much here, and it's pretty clear. I'm sure you can see it. And somewhere deep down inside, you feel it because you're a very intuitive and empathic sign. You must feel this on some level. And the reason we're here, there you are. There's your, there's your card again. It came out up here when you were shining the light on this issue of the King of Pentacles communing with someone. Uh, that, is, that is a result of this unhealthy behavior expression. Um, this is yet to be revealed. The decision has not been made, is what this is saying. It's not been made yet. All right, Queen of Cups. 
she comes with her heart wide open and I often say and I'm reminded to say it here that she's very forgiving very nurturing but sometimes she forgives too quickly so I'm saying that here but let's see what comes out around the Queen of Cups this is definitely you show me cancer with their heart wide open what does cancer need to know with their heart wide open okay nine of cups I like that for your own personal happiness and satisfaction and feeling good temperance balance and healing on a major scale is needed and it's gonna take some time the world to close out major major cycles in life to end them to allow them to end to close them out uh, and uh, by closing them out it allows a new major life cycle to begin this is wonderful it's painful yes but this is like acceptance right here your heart becomes open to your own happiness uh, you finally start to focus on yourself instead of the relationship but it doesn't happen until much later at least as the energies are and maybe this reading helps you make a decision in this direction I hope it helps to at least reflect on the situation uh, deeply as it looks like you are you're not ignoring it you know what's going on you know you're feeling very troubled and very hurt if I could give you a hug I really would um, the but you're showing me balance and healing for yourself and that you need this is you know you need to be patient with yourself here this is gonna take time it's not knight of swords like let's go let's go let's go it's time it's balance and healing over time helps to close out the cycle of this pain that's on your heart you can close this out but it is going to take time and patience and focus on yourself and your own happiness. Um, write a list of all the things that make you really happy in life that bring joy other than this relationship. You, for you, you like any, anything at all that you really enjoy in life, start making a list and start focusing maybe on those things is what's coming to mind to say. Uh, and, and that will help switch your focus from all the horrible feelings that you feel from this behavior of something that was once amazing and brought you so much strong joy uh, and and now is bringing you so much strong heart ache and heartbreak um, the reason we're here oh look it's the moon again it's you it's yet to be revealed it's you but it's here for you. You're here. You're showing up. This is you. All right. Uh, let's get some advice from Spirit. Before we pull the Oracle card, let's get this advice for Cancer going through these energies. They're still holding on to this. It's lots of sadness and heartbreak, Spirit. What advice do you have for cancer going through this, please? Advice, advice, advice. There it is. Look, look, look. Thank you, Spirit. Look what showed up. The Hermit. The deepest healing card in the tarot. It showed up back here when you were shining a light on, on what they were doing. Uh, but here is Spirit telling you, isolate, remove yourself from the situation, and go shine the light in your space shine the light in the dark and heal 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 yourself two of cups this is a soul connection two people coming with their love cup to share but it's not always let me just uh, I don't always say this but I'm reminded to say it here it is not always necessarily another person it could be but it uh, it is also your spirit guide working with you sending you this message three of cups Oof. 
shine the light in the dark when it comes to this relationship and what just happened that's what it's really saying it is talking about the the relationship who you think is your soul connection who you share your love cup with uh but look at the card that came up it's the it's the communing and we know when they commune they commune with others they this is a third party situation is how it showed up in this reading so shine a light in the dark because what that two of cups did was a three of cups it's you know it's fine that they are a soul connection we're not meant to stay with our soul connections necessarily forever and ever um in our lives that we, we come into each other's lives to uh as contracts that were made to uh help each other evolve and a lot of times that involves pain so that we can evolve ourselves and our own self-worth uh to move on from something this is this is deep isolating and healing and introspective work is your advice when it comes to shining the light and looking at this soul connection doing what they did and uh and and healing just really looking at it um the uh it's in your way it's in the way of this all right and the reason for that yeah conflict that's right it is conflicting with what's right for you with what's healing for you with what's good for you what happened mm. <sighs> all right let's get this amazing deck it's called wisdom of the hidden realms and oh spirit what message do you have for cancer from wisdom of the hidden realms please if you think you can heal this that's conflict you cannot if it's been this situation it it doesn't have anything to do with you their behavior has to do with them and where they're at your your feelings of what you're going through the four of cups five of cups five of pentacles three of swords three of swords um all of that and nine of wands all of that wounded hurt pain that's not how you're supposed to live your life mm -mm. message from wisdom of the hidden realms we'll take one card there it is gaia's garden fruition abundance and reaping what you sow it's card number 18 here we go whoops wait a minute 17 okay one more page there we go in Gaia's garden you have everything you need to make your dreams come true there is no shortage of anything and you're constantly reminded of the law of supply Gaia is the infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things she represents the abundance of nature when she comes to you as your ally she invites you to partake in all the blessings of life there will always be enough for everyone success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions and all is well with the world as a result this is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests for you Gaia's gifts are sweeter when you share them with others. Hmm. The only way that I see that connecting is to focus on the things that you enjoy. Focus on yourself, your own happiness, Nine of Cups, healing it, and ending an old cycle of this unhealthy behavior that you have um, accepted and that you want to fix and that you're waiting on to change uh in some way waiting waiting on them to communicate to switch their energies up to come back to you that kind of thing it's uh it's like a refocusing on other things is how i see that i hope this helps i know you're really going through it and oh my heart feels for you again focus on the things that bring you joy Otherwise, if we just sit there and focus on all the things that are painful, we just stay stuck 
in that mindset of of those same feelings that the focus is bringing so change the focus is what I would say here I hope that helps and um, that's how we're going to close it off all right cancer you guys take care and I look forward to reading for you next time